Well, we've been on the uh, jetty at Lauriton for a week now, and uh, it's time to leave. We've been waiting for the weather, and uh, today the wind's going to go around to the south, so we're going to jump on it. I've just come out to one of the moorings here in the river. I'm just making up my lines, and I'm going to get the, uh, the fender boards up and stowed away and get all my fenders away, so good to come out to the mooring and do that. Fantastic. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. This is uh, Anthony's new boat, Latitude. He bought it in Sydney, he's taking it up the Tweed. But he's got a gearbox problem leaking oil, so we're gonna try and travel together, so if he needs a hand, I can help him out. We're hoping to get a bit of uh, southerly so that he can get a bit of sail out and do it easy, but we'll just see how we go. I think we're gonna leave pretty soon, head up to the bar. We'll get that at high tide and see what it's like outside. Well, it's pretty pleasant even though there's not much wind and we're just trying to uh, work out what we're going to do this afternoon. Um, we've got about probably six hours more travel and we'll be at uh, Trial Bay. You could get in there and it could be really rolly and have a sleepless night anyway. So we're sort of thinking that we might keep on going and just push on up to, uh, to Yamba. Uh, I mean, we're doing it all night. We've probably... Uh, 20-24 uh, hours to go if we run up to there but it is quite pleasant out here and if the wind stays like this um, it might just be a good thing to do we might uh, just wait and have a look at the forecast later on they change it around about five o'clock so we'll have a look at uh, that forecast and see what it's going to give us and uh, yeah we might just run up to the river and uh, get in there then we can probably have a good sleep but anyway, it's pretty pleasant out here today. The wind is from behind, but it's very light, not giving us much. And the, the uh, East Australian current, of course, has taken about a knot off us. So uh, 
Anthony's gone out wide. I'm staying in pretty close. But, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much difference wherever we go. But anyway, we'll um, keep on plodding up and uh, just see what we're going to do. Searing felt a little bit spongy when we uh, came up the river, so I just tried dipping it and... Uh, The level's a fair way down. It's not showing much on the dipstick, so I'm going to have to put a bit of oil in. The system just uses uh, ATF, so I always carry plenty of it. But I'm just going to um, put a bit in with a syringe. That's a bit better. There's oil there now. So I'm not sure why that uh, oil level was down. I think what's happened is that uh, when I um, filled the system and bled it after I blew the hoses uh, a few months ago, uh, the air's probably just worked its way out of the system and left the level a bit low. So uh, that should be good now. So we'll keep an eye on it. We'll just dip it every now and then, keep an eye on it. But um, the best way to work out if your oil level is low with hydraulic steering. If the, if the wheel feels notchy or if there's a bit of free play between going from starboard to port or port to starboard one way or the other, if you've got some free play there, usually indicates low level oil level in the reservoir which is behind the wheel. So we've just topped that up now and um, should be good. We're on a nice little reach here. Um, it's not too bad. We've just got the weather report from uh, Marine Rescue Trial Bay, and it's supposed to be going around to the northeast tonight from uh, Smoky Cape to Coffs Harbour. So that'll be a bit on the nose for us. So we're going to just try and get up around Smoky Cape and into Trial Bay. We'll hold up there for the night and um, get on it again in the morning. In the morning, it's supposed to go back around to the east. So we should probably get another bit of a reach off that um, up to Yamba. So uh, we'll get in there in another probably two hours and uh, anchor up and hopefully it's not too uncomfortable. I think it mightn't be too bad actually. The swells aren't very big so it uh, mightn't be too much getting into Trial Bay. Uh, but anyway, we'll stay there for the night and get going again early in the morning and uh, run the last little bit up to Yamba. But it's been a pretty good day. You're always pushing that bit of current. Um, Anthony went out wide and lost probably a knot, I reckon. Uh, he's a fair way behind now. I hugged the beach on the way up, so I stayed in pretty close to uh, the shore and uh, definitely picked up uh, probably at least half a knot anyway. Uh, we've been doing four and a half, uh, which is a bit slow for us, but four and a half, five knots, uh, not too bad. There's not a lot of wind, so we're not getting a lot of drive out of the sail. But, um, it's been a pleasant enough day. The travelling's been pretty good. So anyway, a bit of a rest in Trial Bay and then on it again in the morning. This is motor sail and racing for old dudes. And there's Norm from motor sailing for old dudes. Just cruising on by here. I'm going to get you back, Norm. Yep, look up motor sailing for old dudes. Check out Norm's a real deal. I've been hanging out sailing with him for a few weeks up the uh, New South Wales coast. Um, so yeah, check him out. You. Point and in the distance you can see Smoky Cape. There's Anthony and his 
new boat, it's sailing along beautifully. We just anchored up in Trial Bay. I don't think it'll be too bad here tonight. A bit of swell getting in, usually is, but uh, the wind's holding us against it, so it's not too bad. Uh, been a good trip. I'm about to climb in the shower and have something hot for dinner, and then I'll be in bed. Been a big day. Tomorrow, off the coughs. Bit of a wet day today. Glad I got my shed. Um, we've decided we're just going to go to Coffs today. It's uh, seven and a half hours, so uh, be a nice little trip up there. Uh, I think it should be all right in the harbour. We'll see if we can snag a mooring when we get there. We can't. Um, we'll just have to anchor out, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not a great day with all the rain and that about. Easy for me, Anthony's uh, out in the cockpit getting wet all the time of course, so a bit harder on him. But anyway, uh, it's pretty pleasant travelling, a little bit of sail out, not much wind, and hopefully not quite as much tide today, we're sort of past the Smoky Cape, and I think um, it gets a bit easier as you head north from here, that East Australian current, but we'll see how we go, famous last words, we'll probably push a bit in a minute. Anyhow, uh, had brekkie, got the boat ready and uh, we're off be there around about probably four o'clock this afternoon.